It's like I've landed on a different planet for this new episode of Explore Azerbaijan. This rugged terrain may look extraterrestrial, but its history is profoundly human. I'm here in Gobustan, just outside Baku. This otherworldly landscape is an open air museum, but it's unlike any museum I've ever been to. The artwork here is thousands of years old. Gobustan National Historical and Art Reserve is home to an astonishing 7,000 petroglyphs. These paintings, left on the walls of cave dwellings, date back to the Mesolithic era. They offer a glimpse into how the earliest humans lived. I think that the main advantage of Gobustan is that uh, everything is original here. It gives opportunity to tourists to get closely uh, uh, acquainted with the rock carvings. Here you use your imagination and you can uh, visualize everything. You can visualize uh, the lifestyle of the ancient people here uh, and uh, you can uh, find the uh, response to all the questions about this territory. I put my own imagination to the test as I strolled around the UNESCO World Heritage Site, looking at paintings depicting animals and people. Historians believe this site was actually a cultural space, where its residents performed dances ahead of big hunts. They even had instruments to accompany them. These musical stones are called gavaldash. Historians believe that the ancient inhabitants used them as drums during hunting ceremonies. You can even see some of the dances depicted in the rock art here at Gobustan. Archaeologists are still discovering new artifacts at the site. Sevin Shirley is one of the researchers working at the recent excavations in Anazaga Cave. So Anazaga is one of the biggest and the richest shelter of Gobustan in terms of archaeological findings and the petroglyphs. So we have, uh, as we see, we have a lot of engraved slabs around of us, which uh, gives us information about the lifestyle, worldview of the creators of the images or people who inhabited this uh, shelter. Archaeologists have collected artifacts including portable art and craft work. Jewelry, pottery, and tools found in the cave dwellings are now on display in Gobustan Museum. After checking out Azerbaijan's most ancient cultural heritage, I'm heading nearby to discover one of its most unique geological heritage sites. Azerbaijan has the world's greatest concentration of mud volcanoes. These curious conical formations are messy, they're bubbling, and sometimes they're even explosive. One of the country's newest tourism complexes has just opened up in Gobustan, in the shadow of the Toragai volcano, Azerbaijan's largest. It's located on the site of the Gilinj mud volcano, which features eight active cones. So, not all mud volcanoes are alike, correct? There are different types of them. Yes, uh, like there are totally three types of the mud volcanoes. You can see here all of them. For example, this one, it's called the Salza. It has a more water and the gas inside. Like, uh, and each mud volcano has a different ingredients. And another type on the right side, it's called the Sopka. It has a so tiny hole, but it's coming from a lot of mud from coming to inside. And the third type, it's called the Griffon. It's the different, it has a so like a bigger hole and it's the non-stop it's coming the boiling and the bubbling as a mud. These mud volcanoes were formed 25 million years ago and have shaped the region's geography. They're often an indicator of oil-rich land, a key driver of Azerbaijan's economic growth. At the futuristic looking information center, visitors can learn more about the different minerals found in mud volcanoes and participate in pottery and painting masterclasses. There's also a new natural history museum on site, featuring skeletons of Azerbaijan's local wildlife. For a little more hands-on learning, I hopped on an electric quad bike to do some field research. Zipping across the parched earth feels like exploring Mars. But unless you want a mud makeover, you shouldn't get too close. Visiting Gobustan has taught me how important it is to look beyond the surface of a place. There is so much more than meets the eye when it comes to this type of landscape. And it's been such a blast learning more about it. Thanks for watching Explore Azerbaijan. Bye.